Good morning, students. This is the second part of your lecture number sixteen. We are here. We are discuss about the laminar and turbulence flow. So, according to Reynolds, uh, he was experiment. He was just demonstrate one experiment from where uh, there should be a measure tank which is contained with a water. Then some arrangement of upper tank that contain the tank. and we are just moving these two liquids in a proper uh, flow so when we are regulate this wall in a small opening the, it was observed that if the flow the movement of dye in the water it should be a straight line so when when we are getting this straight line it is for laminar flow and when the Uh, the mouth of the uh, wall when we are open in a large manner then the well uh, the velocity of this time move in a zigzag manner okay uh, means uh, there should be a turbulence produced in this uh, system so this is the state of transitional state and when we are completely open the mouth of the wall then there should be uh, means more intense uh, intense and ultimately the dye diffuse over the entire cross section of the tube so this when we are getting this reason this is called turbulence flow okay so reynolds give some conclusion part ki when the reynolds number is less than 2000 then it is called laminar flow and if reynolds number is greater than 4000 then it is called turbulence flow and between 2000 to 4000 this is called the transition state so um so we are already discussed this part so ha huh, from the experiment uh, we are concluded that in case of laminar flow the loss of pressure head is proportional to velocity but in case of turbulence flow the loss of head is proportional to velocity square and sometimes we are uh, just right loss of head is proportional to u raised to power n and where n is vary from 1.75 to 2.0 okay so ultimately the conclusion of whole the apparatus is um, the velocity of water just a minute the velocity of the water in the pipe was determined by measuring the uh, volume of water collecting in the tank over a known period of time means we are all know that the uh, rate of discharge is is equal to a into v area into velocity so if you if you are know the discharge rate and the area of the pipe then you just ultimately find out the velocity of the flowing fluid second is the velocity of flow u was changed and corresponding value of head and uh, loss of head were obtained a graph was plotted between u and hf such a graph such a graph um, just we are see this graph ki uh, when we uh, the the movement of flow is considered as straight in case of laminar and when we are move in a parabolic way then it is called turbulence flow and the between these two state we are get the transient and it is denoted by uh, phi okay so ultimately reynolds number is a combination of diameter of the pipe and density of the pipe and density of the liquid viscosity of liquid and velocity of fluid so by combining this it is called reynolds number so r is equal to rho into u into d upon mu rho is the value uh, density u is the velocity d is the diameter and mu is the viscosity of the fluids so also mu upon rho mu upon rho is also as mu uh, which is called kinematic viscosity so so uh the conclusion is uh, if re reynolds number is less than 2000 then it is called 
lamina flow if it is greater than 4000 it is for turbulence flow and between 2000 to 4000 it is unpredictable either it may be a lamina or it may be a turbulence so after that we are discuss about the critical reynolds limit so all the experiment agreed that a lower limit of critical value critical value of exists to the uh, through there appear to be no defined upper limit of critical value which categorize full attainment of turbulence and its value is approximately 2000 for in case of circular pipe so this lower critical uh, reynolds number is of greater engineering importance as it defines the limit below which all turbulence no matter allows serve entering the flow from any source even uh, even um, source will be damped over by viscous action okay second is that it has been observed that the upper limit of critical reynolds number depend upon the following factor first one is the initial turbulence in the flow then shape of the pipe entrance and roughness of the pipe so reynolds number found the upper limit of uh, of re critical to lie between 12000 is less than or equal to re and it is um, reynolds number is uh, less than equal to 14000 14000 this value of little practical interest and we have we may consider the upper limit of reynolds number to be defined by 2500 is less than reynolds number and reynolds number is less than 4000 so demarcating the regime of laminar turbulence flow the concept of critical reynolds number provide uh, proved quite useful so in case of uh, square reynolds number critical is equal to 1 and in case of open channel a uh, critical value of reynolds number is equal to 50 and for parallel plates critical value of reynolds number is 1000 okay so if you have any doubt any query please contact so this is the end of uh, today's topic thank you very much